Shall we take the national anthem, please? One, two, go. Amen. Earlier today, I received a letter from the Honorable Justice Dr. I. Tanko Mohammed, CFR, resigning his position as Chief Justice of Nigeria and Chairman of the National Judicial Council on Health Grounds. The resignation is to take immediate effect. CJN Tanko was appointed to the Supreme Court in 2006, sworn in on the 8th of January 2007, and became the Chief Justice of Nigeria in acting capacity on the 25th of January 2019. He became the substantive Chief Justice of Nigeria and Chairman, National Judicial Council on Wednesday, 24th July, 2019. Ordinarily, he was scheduled to retire from the Supreme Court on the last day of 2023. Unfortunately, as no man is infallible, ill health has cut short Chief Justice Tanko's leadership of the Nigerian judiciary at this time. I am therefore constrained to accept his retirement, however, with mixed feelings. Much as one may wish that the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Mohammed Tanko, is able to fully serve his term in office, it presupposes that he is able to perform the functions of the office without let hindrance or any form of disability. The instant resignation of the Justice of Justice Tanko is however envisaged under section 231 stroke 4 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, which contain provisions relating to vacancy and the occupant of the Office of Chief Justice of Nigeria being unable to perform the functions of the office for any reason. Under a constitutional democracy like ours, government powers and responsibilities are clearly allocated and shared among the three tiers, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. The three organs must work harmoniously and optimally in accordance with their, responsive, with their respective constitutional mandates. Nigeria's judiciary, under the leadership of Chief Justice of Nigeria, Tanku Mohammed, judiciously exercised the judicial powers of the Federation. His era witnessed several landmark jurisprudential and policy decisions by the Supreme Court and by extension other courts established by the Constitution. C.J. Tanko dealt firmly with the issue of reckless and the indiscriminate grant of ex parte orders that was assuming serious dimensions. History will be kind to Justice Tanku Mohammed for his modest contributions to Nigeria's judiciary, the strengthening of our democracy and national development. In line with the custom of decorating Chief Justice of Nigeria with the second highest national honor of the Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger and often the advice of the Council of States in that regard, as his Lordship, Chief Justice of Nigeria, I. Tanku Mohammed, is taking a bow from the Supreme Court. I hereby 
bestow on him the national honor of the great commander of the order of the Niger, GCON. <laughs> this occasion is an opportune time for me to, as always, assure the Nigerian judiciary that this administration is committed to ensuring the independence of the judiciary and will not do anything, nor take any steps to undermine your independence. We shall uphold the constitutional provisions on the rule of law and the principle of separation of powers. In the circumstances and as nature abhors a vacuum, I hereby invite Honorable Olukayode Arula JSC, being the next most senior justice of the Supreme Court. Of course, we have done that. As acting in acting capacity pursuant to Section 231 subsection 4 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. I want to admonish the justices of the Supreme Court to always remain faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria and to remain steadfastly committed to the oath of allegiance which they all subscribe to as contained in the seventh schedule to the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. Our nation is approaching a critical general election in 2023. The judiciary must not do anything to fail the ordinary people of Nigeria, which may make them lose confidence in the judiciary. Thank you, and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.